In this segment of Point Blank, we speak to two foodies on whether service standards and hawkers are up to par. Uh, my name is Mervin. Um, I actually conduct cooking classes in uh, Novena. So what we do is actually teach people how to cook at home and in a creative and fun sort of way so that um, you know it's nice presentation. There's a little bit of presentation and then um, it's very nice for cooking parties, hold, um, holding a group of friends, hosting a group of friends, that kind of thing. Uh, my name is Vanessa Frida, so I work with Mervyn a couple of times a month. My style is slightly different where I try and do quick meals for working executives. After work, they can come home and they can still cook a home-cooked meal and have something healthy to eat and they have options instead of just buying takeaway. So, slightly different but it's still good fun. Yeah, so you guys are basically quite foodie people. Uh. Oh, I think that's how we actually got to know each other. How many times a week do you guys go to like hawker centres, let's say? Well, for lunch every day while I'm at work, because I work actually at Raffles Play. And sometimes after work, you know, if you're, I'm catching up with colleagues, um, we don't really want to eat somewhere too far. Well, for me, almost on a daily basis as well. To be honest, after cooking or holding a session, um, you also like to eat out and the simplest and uh, quickest way to do it is in a hawker centre. Um, well, to be honest, we're not paying that much for hawker, hawker food. They're pretty well run uh, with regards to service. A lot of them are actually quite uh, proactive and then they, they have pretty good courtesy. I think it's fine. Um, I, haven't, I don't have any problems around Raffles Place, for example, and you think of the volume of people they're serving. It's really quite decent. I get a smile when I order. I've got a couple of regular stores I go to. They recognize my face. They know exactly what, how I want it. And sometimes I don't even need to order. They just go the usual. Yeah, and it gives you a bit of a nice rapport with the hawker as well. Yes, the food has to be good. It has to be clean. I do take note of such things when I go to a new stall. But in general, I don't think I have anything to complain about, especially around this area. You're not paying much for it. You can't expect fine dining sort of thing. You can't expect them to come put down your plate and say, enjoy your meal. They're not going to say that. And that's understandable. You know, like uh, some of these famous hawker centres, and they have like long lines in the queue and stuff like that. And uh, sometimes they tend to be very brusque or, or very rude in a sense. Uh, have you ever encountered that? I think yesterday, last night I went to Two Chef. Um, it's this famous little hawker zita place, which is at Commonwealth. Now they have bustling business. By six o'clock, it is packed, and they had to they had, they started turning people away, saying, you know, I think we can't see you till nine, unless you want to buy takeaway. But they did it with a smile. They don't give you attitude. They don't throw your food down, in, you know, in front of you. I was there with Dad, and Dad's very particular about food service. And he actually commented, and he said, you know, for such a popular stall, they're churning out food. They haven't got that much staff. They are very polite. You know, they bring everything there. If you ask for extra chili, they brought it over immediately. They were prompt. Service was good. No complaints. So I think that's a perfect example. It doesn't mean that a place is popular or if it's packed. Um, service with hawkers are not that great. I think it depends on your luck. And it depends on the person's attitude. Uh, to be honest, I've never, actually never had a bad experience Well, in a, with a famous hawker stall. A lot of them, well, um, they are brisk and efficient in running the, the, the business. So you get pretty quick service, that's for sure. Especially with long queues. But um, they are hardly rude or, or actually... Um, you know, this courteous to you. For more on service standards at popular hawker stalls, do check out other clips on Razor TV.